my name is Becky Monroe, and I'm the supervisor of the Living Collections here at Three Lakes Nature Center. And today I'd like to show you one of our resident snakes, one of our larger snakes known as the, pine, the northern pine snake. As you can see, these are rather robust snakes. They are not in this area of Henrico, We're, they're more so in the uh, mountainous areas. And they live in those areas, oops, he's a little floppy, uh, because as the name tells you, they live in pine areas um, up in the mountainous, up in mountainous regions. The reason, he's gonna hold on now. You can see how he's holding on. The reason um, they're called pine snake is because of the, the piney areas that they're in have sand, their sandy soil. And if you can see from this snake's blunt nose, I'm not gonna blunt nose. Let's see if I can get his nose up. The blunt nose he has helps him to dig. And he lives primarily underground. So that's why you wouldn't see them very often. They're an uncommon snake. And that's because they are uh, typically underground most of the time. Now, another thing you might notice about this one is if you see his eyes, they're kind of milky looking. He is currently in shed. So they, that's why he's a little bit more wiggly is they are kind of vulnerable during this time, in, during the shedding time, because the eyes will milk over till they're almost white blue and then he can't see. So they get a little nervous. They, they feel like they could be predated. Now the anatomy on this snake, you'll see, let's see if I can hold them up. You can see the scale patterns. It is like a rough scale on the top. And underneath, the scales are almost like a tank tread. These long, the long scales like this help them move almost like a tank over the sand so they get traction. And the roughness of this is called keeled scales. They have like a little ridge down each scale. And that helps them go to push through sand and soil to make their burrows. juvenile pine snake. You can see he much, he's much calmer than the adult. And these, these, he looks nice and small, but these, these guys will reach about seven feet. They can get as long as seven feet. And they'll be big around almost as your arms. Now their diet consists of mainly of rodents because they are underground. And their hunting method is very interesting. They'll go down in search, down through mouse tunnels, in search of mice or rats. And then when they find the nest, they actually will push their bodies against the side and crush the mice so that they can eat them. So they'll eat babies and, and adults. Uh, they also will come out periodically on top of land and eat things like lizards, but they're primarily rodent eaters. These snakes also um, are, they will also lay eggs when they reproduce. And they have the same, they'll dig with this blunt nose. They'll dig a shallow burrow in the sand. They're one of the only snakes that actually digs holes. Most snakes do not, they use other, uh, other animals' holes. But these guys, guys will actively dig a hole and then lay their eggs in them. They can lay up to 25 eggs as a dog. At this time of year, these uh, snakes would be overwintering or hibernating. And they will do that in sometimes in a shared hibernacula, which is another name for their, their hibernation chamber. They'll actually share an area with other snakes and they're peaceful at that time. Sometimes it's in the roots of trees, uh, wherever they can find a place that they're protected from frost.
the animals that the animals that might eat these snakes are animals like raccoons and skunks, and then some animals will actually eat their eggs, um, and and um, actually eating when, when something comes after these animals, they will do things like hiss, and this snake has a big hissing sound. They will also rattle their tails, like in the dry leaves, and it's almost like a mimicry, like a rattlesnake would do. Now another um, an unusual color change for these guys, or color pattern, that rarely happens is albinoism, or albinism. This one is an adult albino. And you can see the scales are the same. You can see the keels and the roughness and all. But the, um, the eyes have a different color. They're reddish pupil. And then almost all of the color is gone. They have some orange in place of the black or the gray that would be on their eyes. You can see he's doing his the flicking that they do with their tongues. Probably because I handled other snakes, he now is picking up that scent. But you can see they would once they're hunting, they'd have to eat a lot to fill up this long body. <laughs>